This is the EpiPen Auto Injector. It comes in two strengths, one that's for patients weighing 66 pounds or more. As you can see, it has a yellow label. And one for patients weighing 33 to 66 pounds. That's EpiPen Junior. It has a green label. Whether you have an EpiPen, EpiPen Junior, or both, it's important to remember to refill your EpiPen prescription before it expires. You can find the expiration date right here on the auto injector. Also, take a look to make sure the solution inside the EpiPen is clear and not discolored. And since it's important for you to have two EpiPens on hand at all times, EpiPen and EpiPen Junior come in two packs. Each two pack also comes with a training device. Even if you carry an EpiPen everywhere you go, it can only help you if you know how to use it correctly. In a moment, I will show you how to self-administer an EpiPen. You can follow these steps whether you're administering EpiPen to yourself or are a caregiver administering EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. So to get started, begin by removing the EpiPen from the carrier tube by flipping open the cap and then tipping the tube and sliding it out. It's important that you don't place anything in the carrier because this may prevent you from removing the EpiPen when you need to use it. Once you're ready to use the EpiPen, start by grasping the unit with the orange tip pointing downward. The needle comes out of the orange tip, so make sure you never press, push, or put your fingers or hand over it. Next, form a fist around the EpiPen with the orange tip down, and with your other hand, pull off the blue safety release. To inject, hold the orange tip near your outer thigh. Then swing and firmly push against your outer thigh at a 90 degree angle until you hear the EpiPen click. The EpiPen is made to work through clothing. Continue to hold the EpiPen firmly against your thigh for approximately 10 seconds to deliver the medicine. Now that the injection is complete, remove the EpiPen and massage the injection site for 10 seconds. Most of the liquid will still be left in the EpiPen after you finish the injection. Once you've used the EpiPen, get emergency medical help right away. Then, place the used EpiPen back in the carrying case. As you'll notice, the cap of the carrying case will not close after the EpiPen has been used. And lastly, make sure to take the used EpiPen with you to the hospital emergency room. To properly dispose of expired or used EpiPen units in carrier tubes, make sure to take them to your doctor's office or to a hospital. A used auto injector with an extended needle cover will not fit in the carrier tube. Important safety information. EpiPen Epinephrine Injection 0.3 mg and EpiPen Junior Epinephrine Injection 0.15 mg auto injectors contain a single dose of epinephrine, which you or your caregiver or others who may be in a position to administer EpiPen or EpiPen Junior inject into the middle of your outer thigh, upper leg, through clothing if necessary. Get emergency medical help right away. You may need further medical attention. Only a healthcare professional should give additional doses of epinephrine if you need more than two injections for a single anaphylactic episode. Do not inject into your veins, buttocks, fingers, toes, hands, or feet. In case of accidental injection, please seek immediate medical treatment. Epinephrine should be used with caution if you have heart disease or are taking certain medicines that can cause heart-related cardiac symptoms. Tell your doctor if you have certain medical conditions such as asthma, depression, thyroid disease, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, high blood pressure or heart disease, have any other medical conditions, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. Be sure to also tell your doctor all the medicines you take, especially medicines for asthma. If you have certain medical conditions or take certain medicines, your condition may get worse or you may have longer lasting side effects when you use EpiPen or EpiPen Junior. The most common side effects may include increase in heart rate, stronger or irregular heartbeat, sweating, nausea or vomiting, difficulty breathing, paleness, dizziness, weakness, shakiness, headache, apprehension, nervousness or anxiety. These side effects may go away if you rest. Tell your healthcare professional if you have any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. Visit EpiPen.com for full prescribing information and patient information. Indications. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior auto injectors are for the emergency treatment of life-threatening allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, caused by allergens, exercise, or unknown triggers, and for people who are at increased risk for these reactions. EpiPen and EpiPen Junior are intended for immediate administration as emergency supportive therapy only. Seek immediate emergency medical help right away. Talk to your healthcare professional to see if EpiPen or EpiPen Junior auto injector is right for you.
You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. For more information about EpiPen and to sign up for expiration date reminders, visit EpiPen.com. 